U.S. banks already have ample reserves, uh, but the Fed is going to slow balance sheet runoff anyway. So in this chart, we show bank reserves in the blue line uh, as a share of nominal GDP, as a share of bank assets, as a share of bank liabilities, and as a share uh, of bank deposits. No matter how you slice and dice it, bank reserves have been rising uh, over the past, you know, let's call it uh, a couple of years. Uh, and the reason the bank reserves have been rising over the past couple of years is because the Fed has the, the Fed and Treasury for a lot for a large part of the last five to six quarters have been implementing dovish po po monetary policy from the perspective of forward guidance and the perspective of net financing policy. That's changing at the margins, which we'll talk about uh, in, the, in the left tower section. But in terms of the Fed's uh, uh, contribution to that. They're obviously uh, uh, going to maintain this dovish policy. And what we learned this week uh, uh, on the balance sheet side of the equation is that they're going to taper uh, balance sheet runoff on the Treasury side of things from 60 billion to 25 billion, uh, which at the margins is positive uh, for risk assets and it's because it's positive uh, for U.S. liquidity vis-a-vis -vis, uh, bank reserves. But uh, the, the key one, one key takeaway I'll say in the, from this chart that indicates to us that uh, uh, Jay Powell, come hell or high water, may just want a soft, soft landing and is going to put his uh, head in the sand and, and ignore hawkish data is because they pivoted on quantitative or not, not, it's not quantitative tightening. They're not selling assets to the market. They're, they pivoted on balance sheet runoff at a very, very high level of bank reserves. So if you look at the black dotted lines in these charts, that indicates where that particular metric ratio metric uh, uh, bottomed uh, at the trough or so where it bottomed uh, during the 2019 uh, repo mini crisis. And as you can see, the current levels, there's a huge spread between the current level uh, and that, that, that 2019 trough for each indicator. So the fact that the Fed is concerned about maintaining Apple reserves at this level of bank reserves tells you that they want to be dovish. They, they, their, their inclination uh, is to be dovish. Uh, and so we don't want to fight that uh, as investors.